Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing, everyone? I hope you're doing great. It's math class. Yay! Math is nice, and math helps you to be so smart. And guess what? Today we have a new lesson. That's why I want you to be focused and pay attention to Miss Mona during the class. In the previous lessons, we have learned how to tell the time to the hour and how to tell the time to the half hour. And today, we're going to learn how to tell the time to the quarter hour. So everyone, let's circle what do we need to find. Okay, so how many days are there in two weeks? So in one week, there are seven days. So in two weeks, how many days do we have? So what you are going to do, this is the first week and this is the second week. Okay, so two weeks. So how many days do we have? Okay, so what you are going to do, you are going to add these numbers together. Who can help me? to say the days of the week. So, let's say them together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, in each week, there are seven days. So, 7 plus 7 equals 14. Yay! Thank you for helping. And here we go. There are two videos about time to the quarter hour. And also, there is a song over here. So, enjoy your time. Watch the video and listen to the song and come back to talk more about time to the quarter hour so welcome back everyone and now let's start talking about time to the quarter hour before doing this i have something here i wanna i want to show it to you so look at the analog clock and tell me what can you see i am gonna give you some time to think about it. Look at all these numbers around. Read these numbers or you know what? Let's read them together. I and you. Let's get started. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and finally 60. I'm going to tell you everyone something and I want you to keep it in your mind. There are 60 minutes in the clock. There are 60 minutes in the clock. So everyone look at the pattern and tell me what can you find? I'm gonna give you some time. Yes everyone, we skipped count by fives. We have learned before how to skip count by fives, right? So see five, and then 10, add 5 more, 15, add more, 5, 20, add more, 25, 
30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And everyone, we have learned before that in the analog clock there are two hands, one of them short, and we call it the hour hand, and one of them long, and we call it the minute hand. Okay, so I'm going to show you something. What did I do, everyone? I divided the analog clock into two halves, right? This is a half, we call it a half, and this is another half, okay? But if I will draw this line over here, it means I divided the analog clock into four quarters. See? One, two, three, four. We call this part quarter. Do you see it? So how many quarters do we have? One, two, three, four. So let's say that you have a pizza. Okay, this is my pizza and you want to cut the pizza into four parts. So what we are going to do everyone is to cut the pizza into four parts. Okay, so let's do it this way. Okay, so everyone now as you can see we have four quarters one two three four so we call this part a quarter okay this is a quarter and this is another quarter and here is another one and this is the last one so how many quarters do we have everyone? Four quarters. And last time we learned something about halves, right? How to show a half. So everyone, if I will cut the pizza from the middle, I'm going to have two halves. As you can see, we call this part a half. So how many halves do we have? We have one, two. This will help us to learn time to the quarter hour. So you can show time to the quarter hour. There are 15 minutes in a quarter hour and there are four quarter hours in an hour. So look at the first analog clock, you can see the long hand is pointing to number 12, right? And after that, the long hand will stop here, so we're going to say it's 115. It's 115, okay? And after that, the long hand will keep moving till it gets over here. In this case, we're going to say it's 130. It's 130. Okay? And after that, the or the long hand will keep moving. And when it gets here, we're going to say it's 145. Okay, everyone, and now I want you to get your math book because we're going to use it. Open page 614. And now, everyone, get your math book because we're going to use it. I want you to open page 614. Write the day and date, please. Okay, so here is a question, and we need to solve it together. So tell what time is shown, write the time. So remember, if we 
divide the clock into into four quarters we're gonna do it this way okay everyone okay and now I want you to write 60 15 30 45 do you remember do you remember everyone we said that we skip count by fives to say the minutes so every so the long hand will take or will make a big tick to a big or to show five minutes so from 12 to 1 there are, there is five minutes and then here five minutes more five minutes more okay and he and it will go this way so if we skip count by fives we can get the correct minutes from 12 to 1 there is or there are five minutes we're gonna add five so it will be 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and finally 60 okay so let's read the time everyone as you can see the long hand or the minute hand points to number three so it means let's look over here it means 15 minutes right but remember to look at the short hand first if you want to read the time look at the short one or the short hand first so the short hand points to 11 right so we're gonna write 11 15 now let's move to number two as you can see the long hand okay points to number six so it means 30 minutes okay so let's look at the short hand the short hand is between eight and nine so it's not nine yet so we're gonna write eight thirty So it's 8, 30, let me write 30 one more time, okay and the last one, see the short hand is over here, okay let me erase to show you. Okay, we erase all this. So everyone, as you can see, the short hand is between six and seven. It's not seven yet. See, look at the short hand. It's not seven yet because it's coming from six, right? It's not a full hour yet. So we're going to write 6 and, sorry, so we're going to write 6 and then we look at the long one, the long one points to number 9, so if you look over here, let's go back to this one, so it's 45 
minutes. Okay, so forty five. So, everyone, let's take a look again. So, here we read the time as eleven fifteen, and here as eight thirty, and here as six forty five. Take a look over here again. Okay. Here we go everyone. I want you to go to page 615. We're going to use this clock to help us reading the time properly. So first of all, you're going to look at the shorthand. So as you can see, the shorthand is pointing to number four, right? So what we are going to write is four, right? And then we look at the long one. The long one or the minute hand is pointing to number three. So it means four and 15 minutes. Let's go to number five. So what is the time everyone? It's not eight yet. It's not eight yet. As you can see, it's coming from seven and going to eight, but it's not reaching eight yet. So we're going to say it's seven and look at the long one is pointing to number nine. So it's 7.45 and the last one look at the shorthand first as you can see it's 2 o'clock and then the long one is pointing to number 3 so it's 2.15 And here we go this is the last thing that we are going to do today don't worry you are gonna explain the lesson one more time tomorrow but tomorrow please I want you to get any analog clock from the house because we're gonna use it we're gonna try to use uh, or to move the long and the short hand to see how the time will be changed every time we move these hands so I want you everyone to draw lines to match the digital clocks with the matching analog clock. So here it's 215. So here is the one 715. 715, here we go. 1245. This is the one and finally 930. Okay, and there is a game, so if you want to play the game, you can go ahead. So, have a great day everyone, see you tomorrow, bye, stay home, stay safe.